greetings new and returning IT enthusiasts. Certification Synergy has another IT training course ready and waiting for you. Whether you are continuing with us after moving on from our CompTIA ITF Plus training, or you are discovering us for the first time, welcome to Certification Synergy. By clicking on this video, you have opened the door to our CompTIA A Plus Core 1 complete training course. And guess what? It's going to cost you absolutely nothing. That's right. This full-length course is 100% free. No hidden fees, no additional content charges, just pure, concentrated knowledge tailored to teach you everything you need to know in order to pass the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 certification exam. With that said, we are excited that you have chosen us as your guide while you prepare for the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 certification exam and we appreciate the opportunity to share our expertise with you. And just once more, in case you didn't believe me the first time, this complete training course is a free, self-paced learning resource here for everyone's benefit. So what makes Certification Synergy the best IT training in town? Easy. Besides our strategic and orderly presentation of exam topics, we make learning feel like a walk in the park. You can expect to learn from vivid, comprehensible video segments, all seasoned with a dash of humor, to keep the experience lively. This course isn't just a learning pathway, it's a guided experience. If you are still listening, it is now time to get a little more real and discuss what this certification is all about. Now we will explore what makes an ideal candidate for the CompTIA A Plus certification and this course. This certification is for entry-level problem solvers and innovative thinkers. If you have a solid grasp of IT basics, presumably from the CompTIA ITF plus certification or similar experience, and a zest for turning technological puzzles into triumphs, this is your call to action. The A plus journey welcomes those who are ready and willing to bridge the gap between users and the magic of tech. Whether you're dreaming of being the tech wizard everyone relies on, or you envision a future crafting cutting-edge solutions, the CompTIA A Plus certification is the logical next step following the foundational ITF Plus certification. So how do you become CompTIA A Plus certified? It is important to know that this widely recognized credential requires you to successfully pass two separate exams known as the Core 1 and the Core 2 exams. Each of these exams delves into distinct yet complementary domains of IT knowledge. Core 1 focuses on the essentials of hardware and networking, while Core 2 dives deeper into operating systems, security, and operational procedures. Together, these exams validate the dual spectrum of practical and theoretical expertise that is essential for entry-level IT professionals. Achieving a passing score on both exams is a necessary component to obtaining the CompTIA A Plus certification. As for this course, I will be covering every topic needed to pass the core one part of this two-headed certification beast. Taking a step back, let's understand the overall path to IT foundational mastery. Ideally, you've either earned your CompTIA ITF Plus certification or you've acquired comparable foundational IT skills, which primes you for this A plus core one course. As your guide and educator for this leg of the journey, I will help you build upon your already strong foundational knowledge, equipping you with the expertise needed to tackle and succeed in subsequent certifications, such as the CompTIA Network Plus and the CompTIA Security Plus. This course is designed to be a stepping stone, helping you to grow while progressively expanding on your IT capabilities. Next, you need to know what IT concepts will be taught in this course. The CompTIA A Plus Core 1 certification exam focuses on the essential IT skills and knowledge needed to complete tasks commonly performed by entry-level IT professionals. To pass, you will need to have the knowledge and skills required to understand. Mobile devices networking concepts, computing hardware, cloud computing, and virtualization. Additionally, 
This exam will assess your knowledge of troubleshooting scenarios related to these topics. Now the current version of the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 certification exam, designated as 220-1101, was launched in April of 2022. The exam consists of 90 multiple choice and performance-based questions, lovingly referred to as PBQs, that must be completed in 90 minutes and the passing score is 675 on a scale of 900. Now the scoring system can be a bit confusing, so I will give you a breakdown that works well for us here at Certification Synergy. If you score below 500, you have some more studying to do. If you score between 500 and 674, you knew more than half the content and just need a bit more understanding to get you across the finish line. Score between 675 and 749, and you knew about two-thirds to three-quarters of the content, and you will have passed. With a score of 750 to 799, you knew most of the exam content. Go above 800, and you can tell everyone you crushed it. Anyone scoring 800 plus on a CompTIA exam should be very proud of their accomplishment. If you get a perfect 900 score, Contact us immediately, we want to hire you. Okay, not really, but know this. Even seasoned veterans tend to score in the low to mid-800 range. I hope you find this scoring breakdown helpful when evaluating your exam results. Now we need to discuss the heart of this exam, the exam objectives. For those of you who watched our ITF Plus training course videos, you will surely remember that the exam objectives are a document that outlines the parameters for studying for and eventually taking a certification exam. It will include exam items like how many questions, the question format or what type of questions you will be asked, and the requirements to pass the exam. The exam objectives will also outline the topics you will be tested on. At the highest level, the exam is broken into domains. The domains for the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 exam, 220-1101, are shown here with a percentage value next to them. The percentage refers to how many questions can be expected from each domain when you take your exam. Each domain is then broken into exam objectives. Here we can see the first domain for the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 certification exam is mobile devices. And the first exam objective in this domain is, given a scenario, install and configure laptop hardware and components. Within this exam objective are the exam topics. Exam objective 1.1 starts with topics focused on hardware and device replacement. Don't worry if you do not understand some of these topics yet, as this is the reason for this course. So why have I spent your time breaking down the exam objectives? because they are super important and often overlooked. The exam objectives are a roadmap to success. They provide a clear path of what to study and keep you on track. Additionally, once you have completed this training course, the exam objectives should act as a final checklist. Taking one last look at the official exam objectives before attempting the certification exam will help focus your thoughts and point you in the direction of any additional study you may need. To download the exam objectives, you can visit the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 product page on our CertificationSynergy.com website. I will also provide a link in the description section of this video and in the comments. Now, as you continue with this training course, I encourage you to watch each video segment as many times as you need to master the topics. Go as fast or as slow as you want. It would also be a great idea to subscribe now making it easier to find us later. We are always pumping out new free content and you don't want to miss out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.